I'm going to compare here Android with iPhone and the radiation level. The conclusion is this Android phone that I have, the Samsung Galaxy A5 or whatever, when it's not being used, even if it's not in the flight mode, it doesn't have radiation. But the iPhone, even if it's not used, it radiates. So this is a very good reason not to get an iPhone. So let me show it to you in action, actually. Right now, they're both on flight mode. And you can see the radiation is zero, basically. I'm going to turn on the Android phone and I'm going to distance myself because I don't want to be exposed to the radiation. It's quite strong and so maybe I should go outside, but it's going to, yeah, okay, now it died down, okay? Now the phone works, but it generates zero radiation because it's not in use. If I get a call, it's going to radiate. If I start doing internet, anything that requires sending or receiving data or voice will generate a lot of toxic radiation. Now let's compare that with the iPhone. So I'm going to put this one back in the flight mode. It's out of the equation here. And let's focus on the iPhone here. We're going to turn off the flight mode. And we're going to turn off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, of course, because we're not using those. It's going through the roof. And what should happen is that once it connects, gets the network, then it should shut up. Let's see if that happens. So, now by this time, it's connected to the network, but it's still radiating like hell. Okay, now it's fully connected, but you can see that it's still pulsating at right now around one volt per meter, which is 50 times the safe limit. And you're exposed to this whether you like it or not, if you're near the phone, even when you go far away, it's still there. I mean, even at this distance, it's pulsating at 300 millivolt per meter up, which is not good. But if you're sitting next to the phone, it's zapping you. But with the Android, if you're sitting next to it, it's not zapping you. So there you go. iPhone sucks for that reason. Um, now, just to let you know, this is my phone. This is a friend's phone. See, I'm not doing anything and it's going nuts. This is the iPhone. This one is still on flight mode. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the iPhone, put it on flight mode. So you think okay so one last point I use this only with wired internet I take a USB-C cable right there and this is what the connector looks like it goes in there it's a standard USB-C there's an Ethernet cable I only use this with internet on applications that requires a phone WhatsApp standalone doesn't work with a laptop with a desktop, with a computer. You need the phone connected. And for doing that, I connect it with a wired cable because I don't use Wi-Fi at home. I try not to use it outside. I only use Wi-Fi if I'm like traveling and uh, I might connect just for a second just to pick up my emails and then I'll disconnect. I'll go back on the flight mode. So most of the time, this phone is on the flight mode. I barely never make calls with it. I use Google Voice or a normal landline, but not a cordless phone, a corded phone, the good old-fashioned corded phone. Cables are your friends, cords are your friends, uh, because they're safer, faster, and more secure. And um, this means wired internet. Go with wired internet and get one of these devices. This is a great device to have. It's Acousticum 2. You can order it off my website. It's the best thing I've bought since 2016 when I became aware of this topic. And it's easy to carry, it's small, it's not so obtrusive, you can just you fit it in the palm of your hand and it really helps so much with so many places. You can basically see wireless pollution because it can cause DNA damage and cancer. This is according to industry itself, although they lie to us, and they tell us, oh, it's safe, but it's not. It's something you need to protect yourself against and fight back. Don't let them put cell antennas in your neighborhood. You have a right not to be zapped inside your house when you don't want it. They don't have a right to enter your house without your consent, no matter what the law says. 
in America, the federal law says states have no say in the matter. Basically, local communities have no say in the matter uh, in terms of environmental or health uh, impacts. The same here in Switzerland, they lie to you. Everywhere in the world, it's just like one big bad business at the peril of our health. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, join us on Facebook, Stop 5G Group. Uh, we have a Swiss one and a global one. So feel free to join us. And let your friends know about this topic. Educate your friends, educate your neighbors, at least get them to turn off the Wi-Fi at night, and so on and so on. Education, awareness, is the light which dispels darkness.